Hey guys, it's Kara. So I'm excited to announce that um, I used to have a blog called The Stylist Portfolio, but I've decided to rename it um, because I just, I don't really do too much like actual, like being a stylist too much anymore. And I really wanted to create something that, you know, really represents me. Um, and I've decided to rename my blog um, and everything. So uh, I will now be going by um, Carabac Style. And this is just a way to really make it like me and make it represent like everything that I love. Like I love fashion and I love makeup and I love style and I love everything about it. And I really, um, I'm just like happy to be able to like finally like announce that change the name of everything still in the process of changing a couple things over so just waiting to confirm that Facebook is giving me a little bit of a issue so um, anyways today's video so now Carabac of Carabac style mm, I love it I love that name um, so today's video is going to be the Ipsy and Birch box for the month of April. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on it. I think this bag is absolutely like super cute. It's probably one of the cutest bags that I've gotten. And I love that they're actually like getting bigger now so you could put stuff in it. Like I feel like when I first started getting Ipsy, some of their bags were so small and you had to buy like miniature um, like uh, brushes and stuff just to be able to fit them in there. But now that they've actually been shipping like a lot of brushes, um, they actually fit in there now. So, all right, so I'm gonna start with Ipsy just because it's like in my hand right now. So the um, first thing I got is the BRTC um, Jasmine Waterfall Foaming Cleanser. So I have actually gotten stuff from this brand before and it was like a Jasmine like water like sleeping mask. And I believe this is like a Korean product, if I am not mistaken. Um, and I absolutely like loved it. I thought it had this like tiny, just tiny scent of like jasmine to it. And um, it, I actually was able to use it like quite a few times with the bottle that they had given you. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. Like I thought that um, it says removes makeup and impurities without over drying, which is like one of the issues that I run into is like some cleansers is that they get rid of all like the dirt and stuff but then like when you dry your face off like it kind of feels like dry or like too dry or like almost like um like scaly I don't know it's like it's weird but like it happens to me so I'm really excited to try this I think this is going to be a great product and I think this is a great brand so um number two is the Aurora all for all lip lovers so this is in color a 24h lively lip stain <clears throat> so you can see here like the color on the end is um pretty bright so i'm just gonna like swatch this real quick and see actually it doesn't really like uh this is like weird so it's it's like definitely like super like watery and I don't know like if it's actually supposed to be like that maybe it is I'm gonna like actually like try to put this on and see like if if there's like a difference it's actually like it's nowhere near that color so that's why like I never try to um, buy anything that the light kind of makes it a little like bright but it in like regular light it's actually kind of dark so let's see about this okay so I just put on the Aurora one I don't know it's like it's kind of weird like it doesn't it doesn't feel bad on the lips or anything when I was doing my upper lip it kind of like seemed to almost like dry out a little bit so I don't know you probably have to like you know hold it down like for a little bit but I heard on the most part um it's actually a pretty nice color. I just, my question would be one, like it's a lip stain. So how long does it actually last on the lips is the question. So I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out. Um, but it actually feels really good. It's not like, it, 
it doesn't feel like super sticky maybe just slightly sticky it could be, still be drying though right now but um interesting so i really didn't think this was going to be like a good color for me but i actually really like the color so okay we'll see about that we'll see how long that one actually lasts so um so i actually got another lip product so this is from hems this is the um ultra moisturizing herbal lip balm so i've seen a lot of this stuff um by hems um like lotions and stuff and like tj maxx and like they smell like absolutely amazing like i didn't smell this one so i mean it smells fine there's like cat hair on it i i can't go anywhere without cat hair it's just like part of my life I mean, it smells fine. Like I, so like toothpaste, like always dries out my lips. So I always put on like chapstick after I brush my teeth. So I could see myself like putting this on, like, you know, in replacement of my like chapstick or whatever, or just like keeping it on my desk if my lips ever get dry. But I don't know. I love that kind of stuff. So I love moisturizing my lips. Um, okay. So the next thing is the Ciate London Starstruck, um, so this is a limited edition. So this is like a dual ended, um, this is a liner and it actually has like a stamp on the other side. I was like talking to my friend about this and like when she told me she got this, she's like, it's a stamp liner. And I was like, like, what am I going to do with like, just like a stamp? It's like, and I was like, I feel like if I was like 12, I'd be like all about just the stamp. But now that I'm almost 30, um, but it actually does have like just like a regular eyeliner on one side. And then it actually has like the star stamp on the other. So I'm just, I'm not going to like put this on my face, but I'm just going to stamp the, I mean, it's a, it looks pretty decent. The stamp on my hand here. I mean, it's pretty, like, I mean, it didn't, it filled in everywhere. It's not like there's, like, one spot where it, like, wasn't filled or anything. And then, like, the liner, oh, sorry. I thought I had muted my phone. Um, I remember, I think that I had gotten an actual just, like, regular um, Ciate eyeliner before in one of my, I, it was probably Ipsy. But, like, their liner was really great. So, I'm excited to have this. I don't know about the whole star thing. Maybe if I'm feeling like frilly one day, but um, interesting concept for sure. So the last thing for Ipsy is this Firma 202 brush. So this just looks like a little eye brush. I think I've actually gotten like a contour brush from this brand before and I'm like obsessed with it, like obsessed. It's like, I think it's probably like one of the best contour brushes I probably have. And the bristles are like really like dense and packed together, which it gives you a really nice like um, chiseled look. So I like this brand. I think this, these are good brushes. It feels amazing. So I have so many like that are in this um, type with that kind of like slightly angled. So to me, it's just like another brush, but at least it's a good brand brush. Okay, so Moving on, Birch Box. So here's the box for April. And um, now, okay, so I don't know if it's just me, if I'm like in my own head or whatever, which I, it, it's a definite possibility. But um, I've been getting a lot of deodorants lately and I don't know if it's like the world trying to tell me like, you probably need new deodorant, which is, I don't think so like I think like my friends would be like girl you stank like you probably need like a new deodorant anywho but it's all this um natural stuff I've been getting I actually think I got this brand in my um target um natural box that I got obviously a smaller size but this is the um lavender and sage scent again really here like um I'm not a huge like lavender scent kind of person, so like this just smells like eh oh, to me. Um, but it's like actually like a full size. It's like a 2.65 ounce size. Um, so I mean that's like actually like a really nice size to like get, and like I would say that's pretty big for Birchbox. Um, okay, so the next thing is the Dr. Lip Miracle Bomb. So this is for dry skin, luscious lips, or glossy bits. So, um, you can use it as a cheat, 
cheek stain, tame your brows, mix with pigments or glitter, etc. Tasteless, odorless, and kissable. Mm. So, um, this thing is like barely full. I can like see it. It's like, it's like, like full to here, which I think it's like Lay's potato chips. Like that's just like bullshit people like fill that shit up. Like, um, but I'd probably use this more for like my lips and stuff or for dry skin. I probably, I don't know if I'd put this in my hair. Maybe it'd help with this little section here. That's a little bit, um, dead and dry and fly away. Um, but yeah, so that won't last me very long. This is another one, like, it doesn't even feel like there's, like, anything in here. I can't tell, like, where it's full at. But, okay, so this is the Kula. I've gotten a lot of stuff from this brand, and it's been just, like, okay to me. But this is the Dawn Patrol Classic Primer um, featuring Iris, White Lily, and Honeysuckle plant stem cells. Ooh, a little daily do. I mean, it smells floral-ish. I wasn't like impressed with the um, setting spray that I had got from them. So I don't, I'm kind of already expecting not to be impressed with their primer. But like I say, you never, never know. That's what I say to that. Okay, so this is the Ow, Ow, Wow, say that wrong. Um, Bomb spray. This is probably just like a um, little like lift action. I've gotten a lot of stuff from this. I think that they have great products. I think that their dry shampoos are great. I've gotten hairspray and I've gotten, I think a couple other things from them. So I don't really like, I guess I should probably start to volumize my hair. It's just like so heavy though. I mean, it smells okay. Um, my hair is just so heavy and like it wouldn't like last very long anyways. And then it gets all like tangled together and then I, it looks like a rat made like a home in it. It's like a rat's nest. Okay, so the last thing in Birchbox this month is the um, Fill and Tame Brow Gel. This is from Bu Butinio Beauty? Butinique Beauty. Butanique. I feel like I got something from them last month too. I honestly can't remember. I have like the memory of like a pigeon. So I'm actually like interested to like see this and try this. I don't have anything in my brows right now. Okay, so like I took it out and there's already like a fuzz on it, which concerns me. Ew. Okay. Gross. Okay, I'm just gonna try this. I don't have anything in my brows right now. So let's see how this does. Oh God, it's like a little bit. Okay, I kind of put it into my brows. I think this um, tip is absolutely terrible. I think that um, you really need like a detailed, like very like fine spoolie on the end. This thing is a little bit um, cumbersome. And especially if you're trying to get like a um, very like pointed, like, you know, defined brow, like, I mean, it might be fun if you're just trying to like fill in like some of your hairs down here. I don't really see myself like using this as like an everyday kind of thing, but um, it's actually like a really good shade for me though. I feel like the other like eyebrow thing I got, um, I think it was in like, I forget what box, but it was like for like blonde people. And I'm like, uh, why do I answer your surveys about dark hair? If you're gonna send me like stuff for like blondes, it doesn't make any sense. But whatever. So I don't know. I don't really see myself like using this. Like I, I probably did an absolutely terrible job because my eyebrows are currently right now uneven naturally, which it doesn't bug me. Yes, it does. Um, so I'm honestly like this month going to give it to Ips. I think that, um, I don't know between like this, like cleanser and then this and the, um, I just like, I feel like four out of five for Ipsy is probably really good. Um, I don't know, like 
The other stuff, it's probably like, this will be like good no matter what. These are too like freaking small and they feel empty. And then like this, I don't know. So I'm giving it to Ipsy. Congrats, you're the winner. You did it. Um, and um, also, if you like this type of video, go ahead and thumbs it up. If you um, don't forget to subscribe, and also like hit the notification bell too, so you can always be informed when um, a new video is ready and is uploaded. So I never want you guys to miss that. And um, if you tried these products, or if you have questions, or if you have feedback, let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Um, and I'd like to hear how like these things work for you because obviously everything works differently for everybody. So um, until next time, this is a Carabac style out.